Hi, this film is about unexplained somatic complaints. As physicians, we all come across such patients sometimes or the other during our practice. In fact, patients with unexplained somatic complaints prefer visiting general physicians. So how does one diagnose and more importantly handle such an illness is a big question. Let's see what our expert has to say on this. Hi. To be able to make a diagnosis of unexplained somatic complaints, we must first understand the presentation of this illness. Usually the patient presents with multiple physical symptoms such as pains and aches in different parts of the body, sensory symptoms, weakness, dizziness and easy fatigability. The complaints may be single or multiple and change over time. The patient may belong to any age group and the symptoms may vary widely across cultures. It is important to understand that in this disorder, the signs and symptoms are of more subjective nature than in the dissociative conversion disorder. You can make a diagnosis of unexplained somatic complaints if multiple physical symptoms are seen in the absence of diagnosable physical basis or structural pathology. Patient has a history of frequent medical visits in spite of negative investigation reports. Patient is worried about his or her symptoms and about having a serious illness, but it is difficult to convince him or her that no physical condition is present even after reasonable clinical evaluation and investigations. Symptoms of anxiety or depression are also common. I have pain in my heels, my chest, uh, all the time my eyes are burning. There is no sensation in my hips. Mm -hmm. This is my reports. Last 10 years, I am very proud of. On examination, he does not have any positive findings. And he also has a history of visiting hospitals and doctors for the last many years with a huge list of investigations of literally the whole of the body, but with no positive findings again. So he does seem to fit the diagnosis of unexplained somatic complaints. What do you say? I think I agree with you. That's a good diagnosis. Thanks for sharing that with us. So it is not difficult to diagnose if you spend a little time exploring the history as well. Counseling plays an important role in the management of such patients. Both the patient and the family need to be counseled. The physician must accept the patient's symptoms as real without casting any doubts. A swatch patient's worries and fears of having a serious illness explain that treatment may take time and occasionally cure may not be achieved. But the illness is in no way dangerous and Functional recovery is likely in most cases, hence live the best possible life. Investigative options remain open and reasonable tests will be ordered if the doctor feels the need for them. Explore and deal with emotional stress and problems present at the time of the onset of symptoms. Relaxation methods relieve tension related symptoms like headache, neck and back pain. Encourage regular exercise and enjoyable activities. Long-term management of stress gives a good outcome as stress may precipitate or worsen these symptoms. Use positive reinforcement to shift the patient's attention from his or her symptoms. Example, encourage with words and actions if he or she successfully performs daily routine tasks or engages in productive work. In this condition, we avoid any unnecessary diagnostic testing and medication, but it is also important to ensure that we have reasonably ruled out any physical illnesses before considering this diagnosis. Antidepressant medication may be required in some cases with depression. Cloxetin, 20 to 40 milligrams per day in morning can be used for multiple pain symptoms. Alternatively, amitriptyline, 50 to 200 milligrams per day may be helpful. So that takes care of the treatment. This illness is best treated in primary care settings and by general physicians, but do consult a specialist if the symptoms persist more than six months after initiating the treatment. I hope this lecture will help you feel more prepared 
to manage the patients with unexplained somatic complaints. Thanks and good luck. Well, I got some clarity about diagnosing and handling such patients. If you haven't, please watch the film again. And before I forget, please do check out the film on depression to clarify any doubts about antidepressant medication. That's all for the moment. See you around in another film. Do watch another one whenever you find the time. Bye.